If you hearken to this message, you can access higher dimensions in the kingdom of God. Dishonor of the Holy Spirit is the reason why we never experience His presence at all. The wisdom about it is, when you honor someone, your body language communicates that I recognize the investment of God upon your life. It communicates that I can recognize the wisdom of God upon your life. So many people have closed doors due to dishonor. Everyone honors your brother except you, because to you he is your brother. Therefore, that inability to discern, to acknowledge and recognize what he represents is dishonor. There are many men of God families that are dying from the same thing the man of God is anointed to deliver others from, because in that home there is no honor. I once observed a woman pastor who had difficulties in her home. So she got home after service with her husband and people had been testifying about how God had used her husband to perform miracles in their lives and she served her husband food after service but she never spoke a word. The husband could tell this woman was so worried. So he asked her, what is the problem? And the woman immediately got down on her knees and said, man of God, I need a breakthrough in my home. Immediately, the man of God said there is an anointing that came upon him and he transferred it to the wife because of her ability to acknowledge. You need to understand something. Human beings are not all the same. Human beings are dimensional. We rank in different dimensions. So you need to be careful. Your younger brother can be your younger brother until the grace upon his life begins to speak. Your husband can be your husband until the grace upon his life begins to speak. Your wife can be your wife until the grace upon her begins to speak. You need the grace to discern what people around you represent. This is where we miss it. The sons of the prophet could not see this. That is why Elisha asked for Elijah's mantle. He's the only one that could recognize how powerful this man was. If you can discern that I'm not a normal human being, that I'm a representation of a system, of a higher authority, you will receive from it. If we are not careful, we may never walk in dimensions of favor because of our failure to honor. There are many people I pray for who do not understand this thing. Some receive and some don't. Impartation is not a charm. There are laws behind it. I have trained myself to practice honor. Practicing honor will sting your ego because everyone also believes they are great. But sometimes, sometimes you need to just get on your knees and swallow your pride and say, I acknowledge, I acknowledge the grace upon your life. There are many wives married to husbands holding unique and powerful graces, but the grace has never flown to them. Why? Failure to acknowledge. What people don't know, what I want them to know is whatever it is that is at work in a man's life and is not at work in your life, you owe a duty to recognize it, to celebrate it, to acknowledge it. Some people try to show people what they represent, but listen, most people already know what you represent, so there's no need to put pressure on yourself. They are not fools. Let the grace speak on your behalf. Let the anointing attract whoever desires it. If you are anointed, you are anointed, they know. If you want someone to see the grace of God upon your life, you don't do it by saying, look at me. You do it by sowing a seed into their life. Listen, it is very difficult to criticize a humble man. The humility paralyzes you. There is a secret people don't know. The sacrifice of honor does not kill. It rather lifts you up. Because of the dimension of God's grace upon my life, one woman apostle came to me and said, You are physically younger than me, but spiritually you are bigger than me. I want to submit to you. Please allow me. I looked at the woman. My heart broke down inside. 
because of her ability to recognize that there is a dimension I have seen you are moving in that I have not yet reached. That's the mystery of honor. I will show you what dishonor does. Miriam, Miriam, the sister to Moses, was a prophetess and she spoke negatively against the Ethiopian wife Moses married. The Bible says for her dishonor, God caused the leprosy to come upon her and the grace left her. Side effects of dishonor. You need to get to a point you understand that whatever you honor, you attract. And whatever you attract, you become. The truth about honor is when people that are supposed to be honored are not honored, it takes away their ability to function. Only the anointing that you honor will flow into your life. 